What is the most dangerous chemical you've ever handled? The most dangerous chemical, I believe, was one called cyclopentadienyl nickel nitrosyl. It was claimed at the time to be one of the most poisonous chemicals in the world. It's a blood red coloured liquid, looks pretty evil. And I dropped the bottle on the floor and it broke. But fortunately, only the neck of the bottle broke, so I could pick it up and none came out. The molecule or the, or the, the material that I've had to, to handle with the most care, let's say, is probably tertiary butyl lithium. And I used this as a PhD student, and it's a fantastic reagent. We use it as a strong base when we're doing synthetic chemistry. But um, if you take a concentrated solution of tertiary butyl lithium in a syringe and you squirt it, it bursts into flames instantaneously when it hits the atmosphere. I suppose it's similar to many of the things that Steve has shown us on some of his videos, like the zinc chemistry. Tertiary butyl lithium, actually, one of the most, one of the molecules that I have utmost respect for. Probably the, the, the most dangerous situation I've found myself in whilst handling a compound is when I had an ampule. So an ampule, for those who don't know, is a, is a bottle which is completely sealed, so it's all glass. And you have to break it with a hammer to, to get to the contents. And I had a, a 250 milliliter bottle of SO3, and I needed to pour this into a, a vial which we could open and close, or a bottle we could open and close. Uh, so I got my hammer, I pre-scored the glass, and uh, I don't have an ampule here today, but um, you can imagine a, a sort of a bottle and then it goes up to a neck and you get a thin piece at the top and you hit that off with a hammer. So I did this, I had three pairs of gloves on, uh, two lab coats and this was all wrapped around. We were in a, a very good fume hood with scrubbers and all the rest of it. Uh, hit this off and immediately, as soon as SO3 hits water in the air, you get sulfuric acid and there's just clouds and clouds of sulfuric acid and there I was pouring this stuff in to the glass bottle as quick as I could, put the, the top on, it's like, wow, thank goodness for that. And the, the, I had three pairs of very thick gloves on, the outer one had completely dissolved, it was black. The, the second one was pretty blackened as well. Uh, luckily the third one was intact, we were okay, but yeah, that was a scary, uh, scary time, but it was uh, good fun. <laughs>